Number seven ministries. The spirit of the Lord is on me because he has anointed me to preach good news. Hello, welcome to Number Seven Ministries Christian Outreach. Today's short sermonette is called Way Out of No Way. And before I get into the message, I want to explain what God is trying to tell us when He's saying way out of no way. There's going to come times where our own power, our own strength, our own logic, all of our own efforts are going to fail us. There's going to come times where your family is going to fail you, your friends are going to fail you, the pastor is going to fail you, people from church are going to fail you, your neighbors are going to fail you, your boss is going to fail you, your money is going to fail you, your body is going to fail you, your health is going to fail you. Just everything is going to go wrong and you're going to feel like there's no hope. There's no chance for you. There's going to be people sent in your life to try to discourage you, to try to hinder you from stopping you from doing what God has called and ordained you to do. And I'm going to tell you that when you're stepping out on faith, you're going to know. Because if you feel comfortable in the things that God called you to do, I'm going to question, did God really call you to do that? Because God's going to call you to do some things that are not going to be logical. They're not going to be reasonable. They're going to actually look crazy to those that God did not speak to about your specific assignment. And my question is, are you still going to trust God? Are you still going to step out in faith? But when you get to that point where you feel like there's no hope, there's no chance, it cannot be done. That's where God is going to step in your life and he's going to show off his power and it's going to be to his glory. And people around you who have saw you do these foolish things by faith, they're going to see that God is with you. They're going to see that you're favored of God. They're going to see that you have faith in God and God is going to get glory out of your obedience and out of your steadfastness. So I want to encourage you to keep marching forward in God. I I want to read this Bible verse, Exodus chapter 14, verse 12. Didn't we say to you in Egypt, leave us alone. Let us serve the Egyptians. It would have been better for us to serve the Egyptians than to die in the desert. So here you have the Israelites who were delivered from their slavery. They were delivered from their bondage and they got to the point where they no longer felt secure. They no longer had faith. They no longer trusted that Moses was going to lead them in the right direction. And they started to feel like they were going to die. I want to ask you, are you ever walking out by faith and God delivered you from slavery? God delivered you from addictions. God has delivered you out of great situations, but now you're at a point in time where you just feel like you're not going to make it anymore. You feel like it's just no hope. You feel like you're going to die. Well, I'm going to tell you, you're on the edge of a miracle. You're on the edge of God stepping in and doing a great thing in your life. And I want to encourage you not to give up. I want to encourage you to steadfast and stay strong in God. The next Bible verse I want to read is Moses answered the people, do not be afraid. Stand firm and you will see the deliverance the Lord will bring to you today. The Egyptians you see today, you will never see again. There's going to come a time where people are going to come to you. They're going to start complaining. They're going to start criticizing the things that you're doing. But my question is, are you going to respond the way Moses just, just, just did? Did he say, you no good, dirty, rotten, ungrateful Israelites? What's the matter for you? And start throwing stones at him. No, he didn't do that. Instead, he said, stand firm you're going to see the deliverance of the Lord today. And your enemies, your problems, your situations that you feel like are going to destroy you, you're never going to see them again when God delivers you. Are you speaking that faith into other people's lives? Because you need to speak the way, the truth, and the light. That's Jesus Christ. Are you speaking Jesus into other people's lives? Or are you just taking their complaints and, and getting mad and rebuking people and always uh, screaming? Or are you saying, yeah, that's true. That's true. I did bring you out of 
slavery and yeah things do look pretty bad I don't know what's gonna happen you're right let's just go back to our addictions let's go back to the world where, where are you at in your faith what are you gonna tell people because God delivered you and rose you up for a purpose and for a cause to bring people into your life and for you to speak faith into their life and I want to tell you another thing too I, I want to know, you know, the reason why these Israelites were able to rise up and speak to Moses and say, why would you bring us out here to die? It's because the thoughts that they were rehearsing in their mind, they were rehearsing like a broken record over and over and over in their mind. All these negative thoughts, all this doubt, all this, uh, this evil, wicked thoughts, they were rehearsing it over and over and over. I want to tell you that that is a form of of demon possession see when we say someone's demon possessed we always think of a girl uh, floating on the ceiling and she's kicking and screaming and fighting you know yelling and foam is coming out of my yeah 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 that yeah I don't know about all that but I know that demon possession it comes through the thinking see if we have the mind of Christ our thinking is on thoughts that are pure lovely just praiseworthy good report that's being Holy Ghost possessed but if you're always thinking on things that opposite of pure the opposite of praiseworthy the opposite of good report you're gonna take on a demon possession and I can hear it when other people talk to me and so you need to take them off of that track and bring them on the track of God the next Bible verse I want to read is Exodus chapter 14 verse 16 raise your staff and stretch out your hand over the sea to divide the water so that Israelite can go through the sea on dry ground verse 19 then the angel of the Lord who had been traveling in front of Israel's army withdrew and went behind them and a pillar of cloud also moved from in front of them and stood behind them. Verse 21, Then Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and all that night the Lord drove the sea with the strong east wind and turned into the dry land, and the waters were divided. The, verse 28, The waters flowed back and covered the chariots and the horsemen and the entire army of Pharaoh that has followed the Israelites into the sea, that not one of them survived. See, God destroyed all of the enemies of the Israelites, and he's going to do the same thing to you. But it's not going to be until after people give you a hard time. It's not going to be until after you walk by faith and step up and see how great the Red Sea is. See how great it is impossible for that sea to split. But then you're going to see how great God performs the impossible and makes a way out of no way. God bless you and have a wonderful day.